Hey guys, I'm sure then just to ease out the curiosities of certain people, I have an analysis. So here we go again. This is a QWERTY keyboard. Why is it called QWERTY? It's because we have Q-W-E-R-T-Y here. That's why it's called QWERTY. Now, why is it arranged in, in this manner? I mean, A, S, D, F, G, H. It should be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? But that's not the case. So why is it like that? It all goes back to the era of Christopher Latham Jules. Christopher Latham Jules was an American inventor and is often cited as a person who invented the QWERTY keyboard. So let's go to the reason behind it. So at that time, it was an era of typewriters. Typewriters are mechanical machines. So whenever you type it, something mechanically moves. At first, the this style of keyboard was like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But that resulted in jamming of the keys. And in order to counter that jamming, Christopher Latham Jules introduced this type of keyboard. That's a QWERTY keyboard. And that's why you see this keyboard. In reality, um, this type of keyboards are not essential. But uh, because it was historical, we still carry forward that culture. That's all. We have different varieties of keyboards like Dabarak, which was invented in 1936 which is quite effective. That's what I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. This is actually a simple video. And if you like such videos, short videos on technology, please do comment on the comment section. So thank you for watching.